Hey everyone, it's John Thomas. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking on the video today. It is a beautiful blue sky day here in Beijing and I am setting out to find Christmas and an ugly Christmas sweater. I'm staying in the San Latour, San Latour area here in Beijing and I'm gonna try to find Christmas. So I'm gonna head into the San Latour Mall and see what we can find. There wasn't much from a Christmas standpoint at San Latoon Mall. I did find my Christmas sweater though. Oh, look at the puppies. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe not as happy to see me as I was to see them. But I will show you the sweater in the next video. I am starving though. I woke up late. I didn't eat breakfast. So I'm gonna go to what I believe to be the best burger in Beijing, and that is in Great Leap Brewery. And I'm gonna just soak in this Beijing beautiful blue sky day. my food. I just got my beer. I do love a weekend day drink. Every once in a while. It is fun. So I got my burger. I'm gonna eat it quick. I'm not gonna bore you with a mukbang type video, uh, but I just want to show it to you and absolutely recommend this place as a place to get an incredible burger if you're in Beijing. So good. And they have a fancy sauce that I love, so I'll show that to you too. The wind today, shorter haircut too. Makes it a little bit easier. It looks amazing, it's two patties, cheese, pickles, and the fancy sauce. Super basic, and that's what makes it amazing. So good, let's try it. Incredible. I love dill pickles. Okay, I'm gonna finish enjoying this, and then you came here to this video for Christmas, so we'll go show you more Christmas here in Beijing. Oh, I almost forgot to show you the fancy sauce. It's almost like a Dijon mustard mixed with a Thousand Island. I don't know how else to describe it. Delicious. I'm in the car on the way to the next destination, which is Parkview Green, which is my absolute favorite mall in Beijing. My glasses are fogging up with my mask. <laughs> it's full of art and fun and uh, it's a really cool mall. I think I can find Christmas. If not, there's another mall right down the way. 
Hello, we're in China, we're in Beijing. Of course there's malls everywhere. So this mall is absolutely one of my favorites, but I don't think there's any Christmas decorations here today. However, I don't see a single Christmas... Oh, I spoke too soon. There is a Christmas tree in a restaurant. So I found a tree in a restaurant, but no mall decorations. Well, that was totally disappointing. There's no Christmas in this mall whatsoever outside of that restaurant. And my favorite store it was called Habitat. It was from France. They had some great home stuff. Closed, no longer open. Let's head to the next mall. See if we can find Christmas. I feel like I've seen more Christmas in Tianjin than I do in Beijing. So I'm not having any luck finding a lot of Christmas. In Tianjin last year, I saw Christmas in so many of the malls. And this year, it's nowhere near as evident. And it might just be the malls that I'm choosing. But I'm gonna try one more. But I'm going to now One World Center, I believe is the name. Or China World. I'm going to China World which I think is one of the biggest, most luxurious malls here in Beijing. And I hope to see Christmas. I know we're probably not gonna see Santa. Last year I saw Lego Santa. I will put that video down below if you are interested in seeing a little bit of my Christmas adventures last year. That person totally came up on me. That was shocking. I'm in China World Mall and I think I found Christmas. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. It is the next morning. I am in my Christmas sweater. I picked the Coca-Cola one. Uh, it's got these weird little snowballs on it. But I am on my way to meet Elise and Lauren for some lunch. And then uh, we're gonna head to a wine tasting where we have to wear a Christmassy sweater, which is why I got this one. Okay, I'm running behind, so let's go. It's on you. Vlogger number one. And then Obviously, vlogger number two. <laughs> I 
and then Lawrence China Life <laughs> is also over here vlogging. Hi guys. <laughs> hey Lawrence. Hey, hello. Vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Although I didn't find a lot of Christmas yesterday, today will remind me what Christmas is all about. No, not just wine and food, connecting with people. Meeting Lauren and Elise this year has made my life even brighter. These two make me laugh. Comment, comment below, what do you think these are called? Are they pom pons or pom poms? or Papa, or whatever. <laughs> there, I'm gonna keep pulling on this. It's gonna look like a nipple or something. It's, it's very nipple. <laughs> <laughs> like a shoulder nipple. Yeah. <laughs> Make me think, and we always have a good time. Oh, hi. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Lawrence doesn't work very well. Oh, too fun. Cheers. Cheers, round number seven, I think. <laughs> so this weekend, all in Beijing, talking about Christmas and trying to find Christmas. We found it all throughout, but I think the best part was being able to spend time with friends like these uh, two here. Thank you so much for watching the video, and uh, be sure to follow Elise Lightyear and Lauren's China Life. These two have incredible content that I binge watch, absolutely love it. Um, and truly, truly, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay.